Brown. Welcome back, David Brown. Barry McGuigan with you at the Pro Box Sporting Club at the Grosvenor House Hotel in the heart of London's West End. Hyde Park just over the road. Marble Arch up one end. Hyde Park Corner down the other. Mark Reefer against Peter Till. Mark Reefer moving up from Super Feather, where he performed with such distinction, and now campaigning as lightweight. Here is opponent Peter Till from Walsall. Rated 12, fight boxing outlook. A more than decent record. And of course, at the beginning of the show, we showed you what surely must be one of the contenders for the Pro Box undercard fight of the year, that war he had with Michael Ayres at the Tottenham football ground on that ill-fated Chris Eubank, Michael Watson return back in September. And Mark Reefer. Well, there was a time when every fight of Mark Reefer's we showed you on Pro Box was a title fight of one sort or another. Had a long time out of the ring. Hasn't fought since April of last year. Ladies and gentlemen, the next contest is a lightweight contest at 9 stone 10 pounds over eight three-minute rounds. Introducing in the red corner with the white shorts from Walsall, Peter Till. And his opponent in the blue corner with the black shots from Bethel Green, the former Super Featherweight Champion of the Commonwealth, Mark Rifa. And in addition to the Commonwealth title, the way today, for, Peter for Till and Mark the European Rufa title, Rufa WBC Rufa International Rufa. title. Your referee once again is Reg Thompson and your timekeeper, Peter McCann. Reg Thompson, again doing the honours. Tough comeback fight for Mark Reeve for this, Barry. Yeah, not the easiest. Uh, Peter Tillis proved to be a very tough guy. You know, I sparred with him a few years ago and I noticed that uh, he was going to be a prospect. He's had a bit of uh, bad luck along the line, but he's lost his fight against uh, Michael Ayers and he turned out to be a real tough cookie. Well, Haven't Till, the current Midland area champion. Having said that, um, Reefer likes someone to come at him as, as, as we saw in the Jeribalu fight and landed a beautiful uppercut there. But likes people to come at him. Well, and I remember. that big punch that he's got. Yeah, the, one of the very, very first pro boxers. We saw him against John Sitchula and Sam Acroma, Commonwealth titles at stake. And the last time out for him, when he, he gave up the Commonwealth Super Feather title, Thunder Iyer won it, and he challenged Iyer at Olympia on the. Gary Stretch, Chris Eubank, world title built, and he got cut in two rounds, and the fight was stopped, and you couldn't tell anything from that fight. And a lot of people thought Mark Reefer would call it a day, but he's had a year out of the ring, or very nearly a year out of the ring, and he's back, and looking hungry. Yeah, he looks big too, he's a great physique anyway, he looks a, a solid looking lightweight too. Nothing much happening in this open round. They're feeling each other out. And the last exchange, they were really bombing each other. There was a every one of those punches from Till. He's really loading up with them. And so is Reefer. And Reefer has got to remember that he's uh, he's, he's the most easy cut guy I think I've seen in a long time. He cuts with the slightest punch at all, or clash of heads, or grazes. Or he's really uh, what they call in the business a bleeder. Well, he's These guys are really just sizing each other up to land the big one. No good right hand from Till. They're trying to bang each other out here. It suddenly just occurred to me that yesterday was Mark Reefer's 28th birthday. I hope he wasn't out celebrating too much last night. Good uppercut from Till. He's slipping. Uh, he doesn't look like he was out celebrating. He looks in tremendous condition. Uh, he'll save that for tonight if he wins.
And this first round, very much a, a, a finding your feet exercise again for Mark Reefer because I'm sure you'll agree, Barry, it doesn't really matter how much sparring you do in the ring. No, it, nothing it, like a competitive uh, the Sparring much. you do out of the ring, rather. It, it, it's, uh, it's what happens when the bell goes for real that really counts. Yeah, and he's, look, he's looking quite sharp. Look at small gloves on you, that's when it yeah, that's right. counts. Nice opening round. Well, I told you a little earlier to get your pen and paper ready, and I'll tell you why now, because you've got a chance to win two VIP tickets to Eubank against Jimenez, the WBO Super Middle title fight at the GMEX in Manchester on April the 25th. Now, if you want to find out how to win, turn to page 580 of our Teletext service, that's Sport Text, of course, or simply ring the Sport Text competition line, and that number is 0898. Five 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 six. So five eight zero of sport text or O eight nine eight five 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 six. And you could be our guests at Eubank against Jimenez. Right now though we're at the Grosvenor House and we're watching Mark Reef up in black against Peter Till in white. Yeah, Reef is just starting to get sharp at the end of the round starting to find his range but these guys are not trying the niceties of the game or trying that nice picking the left jab and trying to score they're just trying to get in there and do the business on each other maybe one of these punches are, are as what we call a four penny punches big ones well Knock they're both punches. combined yeah they both combined no doubt about that in fact as we showed you the records earlier, they've got virtually identical records. So there'll be lots of waiting and then a bit big explosion. That's what it looks like right now. And that's what their styles predict. <laughs> Taylor's a good little hitter and he's sharp too. He, he puts his feet in the right position but yeah. he's inclined to get tagged himself so that's Michael Ayers about that he had Michael Ayers on the floor Ayers had to get off the floor to win but Ayers I don't know I'm sure I'm sure Mark Reefer will have watched that fight and talked to Michael Ayers about it because they're in the same camp but Ayers won it with body shots there's two nice left hooks to the body Depends how much P Peter Till has had to struggle to make weight. Because he is a big lightweight. I know he's always had problems making the weight. And uh, if he's had to struggle a great deal, the body is where Reefer should be concentrating. They'll both get starting to slow down a bit. So when they start to slow down, that's when the punches will land. Reef was very dangerous on the inside with them, those uppercuts and short hooks. Ooh, two good punches there. Oh, what's that? And Reef up, forced to hold. We're in round two. Till's got to be careful too, he almost left his chin hanging out there. Ooh, left hook. Another good round, I'm surprised in a way that Reaper hasn't really shown much inclination to go for the body yet. He's trying to, he's, uh, he's going for the head all the time, going for the knockout, he's not trying to pace himself or set Till up, trying to use his jab or work the body, he's just trying to land those big uppercuts to the head on the inside and banging that right hand over the top. You know, it's a good ploy if it lands, but uh, most of the time you're, you're looking for it. Shouldn't be going looking for it, he should be just pacing himself and setting it, letting those punches, light punches go. 
couple of good exchanges there on the inside. Right hand by Till found the range well, but uh, what's the way Rafa grabbed on there? So he obviously clearing his head. The big lapses between uh, between these combinations, and there's a you're left waiting for something to happen, and then all of a sudden they just come in and start exploding on one another. Another oh, he's got him down. The right started it. Reefer straight up, annoyed with himself, shakes his head to clear it. Didn't take a count, but he took some good shots. Yeah, yeah still a bit shaky from that. Tim's got to capitalise on this now. Got to get close, but be careful on the way in. Oh, another left hook. Oh, right hand. He's in yeah. desperate oh, trouble, yes. Reefer. Till throws himself oh. up his feet. Uh-oh. Oh, now, 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 now. Let's calm down here. Now he gets a chance. Referee rightly gave him a chance because that was a wee bit uh, over spontaneous of Till. He jumped up off the ground and that's started a, throwing a, punches. That's a good way of putting it, over spontaneous. Mm -hmm. that. He was so eager, Till. He swung himself off his feet. And Reefer just momentarily was there for the taking. Yeah, his, his head still isn't clear. Tapping nice board in touch. Well done, Ref. But, uh, yeah, Reefer's not over it yet. And Teller's got the best part of the round to stop him, yeah. You not do it by standing away from him. He's got to get close to him. Well, he's banging on some big yeah, he's shots. He's loading Peter. He really is, yes. Loading up Peter too. But they're good shots on the record. Oh, Reefer clips him back. Ooh, another left. It's the left hook that's doing a trick, and again, I see and a Reefer, bit of blood Reefer, on Reefer. Reefer, Reefer cut right eye. Oh, good right hand. Oh, gone completely. Got him. He's got him. He's got him. No, and, and he, he stopped, stopped it. it. Yeah. Rich Thompson yeah. stopped it. Oh, right Reefer is furious. But he was in trouble. He was he cut, was and he was getting hurt. And that might well be the end of Mark Reefer's career. Yeah. Take a look at the end again, Barry. Yeah, it's the right hand. Watch it round the back of the head. Back. This is the one misses. It's the next one. Watch the right hand there. Now it's the left hook then that does a trick. Just the left just slipped him. And as he walks forward again. As he walks forward again, watch his right hand on the left hook. There's a left hook that does more down. Right hand just gets him going. Again, another right hand. Bang. Oh, it's the right hand. Three of them in a row. Yeah, good win for Peter Till. Big win for him. Puts him right back on the scene. Unlucky for Mark Reefer. Thank you very much indeed. Reefer having a little quiet word with Reg Thompson. Nothing nasty, just a little, well, I thought it was a little bit premature ref, but... I think he the referee's on the right thing. A lot of stick. Yes, Reg Thompson, faultless. Absolutely. We're going to take a break. The big one next. Don Boucher defending his Commonwealth World Away title against Robert Wright. Champion,